In this video, I'm hoping to discover who would be ideally suited to study at Federation University's Brisbane campus. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a good idea about whether or not Federation Uni, and its Brisbane campus specifically, might be an interesting choice. So let's go and have a look around Fed Uni's Brisbane campus. There's quite a lot of cool infrastructure to see here, and we'll have a talk about what makes this place ideal for various students. Okay, I've had a good walk around Fed Uni's Brisbane campus and the facilities are really, really nice. Absolutely brand new, looking amazing. And so what kind of student would be really well suited to studying here? Well, firstly, it's mostly a postgraduate campus at this point in time. So fundamentally, if you're looking for a postgraduate degree, this might be an option for you. It's way more economical to study here than to study at some of the other big universities down the road. But I've got to say, when you consider the location and the access to the facilities that you have here, as well as the industry linkages, this has actually got quite a lot of the big selling points going for it that some of the bigger universities have. So if you're looking for something that's a more economical option, this has definitely got some upside to it as well. I love the fact that FedUni talks about community feel in a city location. You know, Australia has got such a wonderful vibe when you get out in the country, and that focus on community is so important. You know, it's pretty easy in big cities in Australia to get lost, but a city like Brisbane, which is more manageable, and an option like this, which has got, you know, not tens of thousands of students everywhere, actually gives you an opportunity to be part of a community, and that, I think, has got a lot of value to it as well. The other possibility is if you are somebody who's looking to upskill, you live in Brisbane, you work in Brisbane, this is right in the middle of CBD, maybe this is close to work. So things like doing micro-credential or short courses are options as well, and all that stuff can eventually lead you on towards master's level qualifications. So certainly if I was somebody living in the Brisbane area, working in the city and I was looking to upskill, Fed Uni would be certainly worth a look. Well, technology is a big thing for Fed Uni here in Brisbane and the computing facilities are pretty good. I mean, you've got heaps of different computer rooms and of course Wi-Fi is available for all students. The programs that are available here are about 50% of all the programs are IT related. So the only undergraduate program that you can study here is the Bachelor of IT. And then at master's level, there are two streams of the Master of Technology program. So you've got different options as well. But one of the things that I've heard continuously from the staff who work here is just about how important the industry linkages are, particularly that relationship with River City Labs, where students can go and do projects with real companies making a real difference and learning real skills. And it's that kind of collaboration, particularly at master's level, that I think is so critical. Firstly, because of the skills that you gain, but almost more importantly because of the network that you form and afterwards just how valuable that network is in getting you a job, that collaboration between Fed Uni and River City Labs is a really important one. What else can you study here at Fed Uni in Brisbane? Well, the other main programs are really in the business and health spaces. The MBAs are taught here, but there are only two specialisations. There's an international business specialisation as well as a specialisation for people working in the health services industry. What I really like about Fed Uni's approach to these programs is that they're really looking to enhance those core programs with other things like micro-credentials and add-ons like short courses. So the concept being that when you graduate from a degree program here, you also get like an extra, a little plus next year. And that might be a micro-credential, it might be an extra certificate or something like that, leadership experience, as well as that practical experience that you get from going out and working with industry partners as part of your degree program. And all of that I think is utterly critical when it comes to employability, which is such a big important topic for everybody who's going into higher education, but particularly if you are investing in one of those high ticket items like an MBA program where really you want to make sure that you're building strong linkages and getting a really good education that's going to lead to awesome employment outcomes afterwards. Facilities are really nice here, definitely if that's something that's important to you. You know, the fact that it's all in one place, and look, everything is like corporate and gleamy and shiny. I really like that. So if you don't want to be around like rundown facilities and you want really nice up-to-date facilities, this is, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> Do you know how important this is? USB ports everywhere, charging stations everywhere. <laughs> if you've ever been traveling, you know how frustrating it is to get to every bloody airport. Your phone is flat and you can't find a power point. Well, not here, you can find them everywhere. Somebody was paying attention to the details. 
It's always one of those tricky things when you have to visit a campus and there are no students around. And unfortunately, like with COVID going on over the last couple of years, it's been a little bit challenging finding students on campus anywhere. But here's the proof. <laughs> there are students <laughs> and lots of them. In fact, at full capacity, this campus could actually accommodate close to 1,500 students. So hopefully by the time you're thinking of studying here, there'll be plenty of students on campus. And I certainly can imagine like this kind of space would be buzzing with people when students are around. And I love the kind of communal spaces that you have here where people can organise their food and sit around and chat with each other. Particularly if you're studying postgraduate. I mean, between you and me, those of you who are a little bit older and a bit more mature, <laughs> You know it's easier to get along with people and form relationships so this is a really great place for you to do your networking and I really like that about this kind of space. I just think it's such a, so ironic isn't it, but I'm in Brisbane on a day when it's raining when Brisbane gets 300 days of sunshine every year, then this would actually be a really lovely light airy space in the middle of the day on a sunny day but of course today is gloomy. You have to like extrapolate yourself out, like what would this space look like when it's full of students, when the sun is shining, that gives it a completely different vibe. So use your imagination. <laughs> when you talk about being right in the heart of a city, Fed Uni Brisbane is right in the heart of the city. This is Ann Street downstairs. And if you get that way, 150 metres, you're at Central Station. Central Station's kind of cool because you can jump on a train and be on the Gold Coast in about an hour and a half, or head out to some of the outer suburbs where, if, for example, you want to get cheaper accommodation, nice and easy access, which is a definite advantage. And if you head the other way up Ann Street, then you end up at Fortitude Valley, and that's a nice place for leisure and recreation. So you're definitely in amongst it here. You talk about a city location, like this is very much a city location. You can see just down the road there, where there's that orange sign, that is Central Station. So as I was talking about before, in order for you to get it transport to literally anywhere, that's gonna be your stop. And the thing that's great about being in the inner city, if that's your kind of thing, is just having access to everything that cities have to offer. So tons of different food options, accommodation, I mean, that is something I didn't know. Brisbane is the most populated, densely populated suburb in Australia because there's so much accommodation here in terms of apartments. So plenty of different housing options. As you can see, buses going here, there and everywhere. So if you want to be in an inner city location, this ticks that box. It's been great checking out Fed Uni's Brisbane Innovation Campus and I really love the fact that the university has invested in creating this kind of space. It's something that I think that pretty much every institution should look at doing. It's like having a department or a unit or a campus that's really forward focused and really looking at how to do things differently. And in this case, it's really about interacting more with industry and creating those extra options, the plus options for students. So after they finish their degree, they've got something extra on their resume. Fed Uni also does a great job of servicing students who are the first in their family to go to university. It's one of the universities that has the most first in family fits <laughs> at all the universities. So the university is really well versed in that sort of level of student support, helping you out if you're the first person in your family to go to university. It's been great showing you around. Any questions, hit me up down below and I'll see you next time on Choosing Uni. I'm Rob Malicki.